Yo te amo, means I love you. Yo te quiero, means I love you. La leja sola, means I love you. Me quedo contigo, because I love you. Welcome, guys. It's a beautiful morning. And that's how I'm trying to learn some Spanish. It's poor though, but I'm trying my best. I bought a new bag. I bought some new shoes. I tried fitting in them today, but uh, they were not that comfy. So I would wear them during rainy seasons. They're boots. They normally say what has a beginning has an end. In Swahili, we put it this way. Kilicho na mwanzo kina mwisho. So time has come and this is my last week of internal medicine at uh, Falsland Medical Center. I won't lie to you, I will have wished to stay forever. Yeah, because I love the place. But anyway, there's nothing I can do about it. So I still have six more open or oh, six more weeks of internal medicine and I might be going to another hospital which I'm yet to be informed. And after internal medicine. I might be going to family medicine. I might go to surgery, emergency medicine. I don't know. Yeah. I'm going back. I need to get a jacket. Because it's too cold. Yeah, yesterday it's been raining. Cats and dogs. From uh, actually Friday night. Till yesterday. And it's still cold right now. So. Let me just get a jacket to protect myself from cold. I still got 15 minutes for the bus to come. I will fetch my jacket. Must keep myself as warm as possible. The cold was ravaging me, man. No way. With this, there's no amount of cold that will threaten me. I'm equipped now. Let's cross back. Children going to school. These buses, I told you, they are snitches dash past them when they have stopped and you see a stop sign failure for you to stop their cameras will record you and you'll be on police radar or radar before you realize it you are relaxing at home you are sent a ticket let me get some loose here so that I can take a bus I got the change I'm well sorted now Yesterday I was watching the Berlin Marathon and our boy Kipchoge clocked, uh, it was two hours and two minutes and this was the fifth time he won the Berlin Marathon. Congratulations to him. And also this lady from Ethiopia called a Tigris Asefa clocked 2.11.53. Congratulations to her. This saw her break a world record in the women's side. Yeah. She's got 300 meters to go. Can she get under 2.12? I think she can. She's going to better the world record possibly here by over two minutes she's striding away now this is the young girl who many years ago back in 2014 ran 54 seconds for 400 a world class 159 for 800 meters and today she becomes world record holder in the marathon surely a couple hundred meters to run tigist asefa takes the world record to ethiopia snatches it from the grass a bridget cost of kenya from four years ago in Chicago. A few meters to go. Still no smile. Still that focus. And the world record is hers. And look at the clock. Two hours, 11.52. Unofficially, history is made. It is writ large in spectacular manner. I think every athlete try. They try their best. Boys try, girls try. But at the end of it, we must have a winner. And uh, Elisa. So, what of them try? Boys try, girls try. Look at Mr. Squirrel. I don't know if you can see him. <laughs> Some of my favorite athletes, or the big wigs of athletes, when I see them, I know that uh, these races 
or this face it's gonna be lit uh one of them is this man from my country is called Ferdinando Manyala. Yeah. He's my favorite. Then others we have a use in Bolt. Bolt's speed on the Manchester Street was faster than his 100 meter world record, faster than his 200 meter world record. This run in the Great City Games was a milestone in athletics. Usain Bolt had just run the fastest race in history. The way this time, Powell's got a brilliant start too. So is uh, Liron Clark and Powell going well at the moment. Here comes uh, Bolt. It's Powell and Bolt. And Bolt's coming through on him. Gets it, Powell in second place, 9.79, plus 0.6 metres per second. And I tell you what, well, she'll remember that moment, won't she? <laughs> so the great man came through again, 9.79, following the 9.76 of Rome. He really is a man who enjoys the way in which things are. Christian Coleman. No lines. Who is the other one? Fred Kali. But I see these guys. I know the race is gonna be lit. And then uh, when it comes to long distance running, I love uh, Elliot Kipchoge, man from my home, from Kenya. And then on the ladies' side, long distance running. I think I know Faith Kitiagon. Strike and that green light, which is 351.15 pace, is also losing a race with Kitiagon off the final turn, less than 100 to go. Everybody on their feet here. The world record is 350.07. Faith Kitiagon, the greatest of all time, is now the fastest of all time. And uh, Helen Obiri. Bariso will go to the other side. And just needing an opportunity to race. Helen Obiri is given that opportunity and takes full advantage. As she will come to line and celebrate with a huge smile a Boston Marathon victory. I can't believe it, she says. <laughs> I forgot another bit. Uh, there's this lady. I forgot her. Red is serving along this route. Something that has never happened. I don't know, maybe there's a change. Because Red has never served on this route. 
So I was telling you about my favorite female athletes. When it comes to short races, my favorite is uh, Shahari Richardson, followed by Sharika Jackson. But I see those two racing. I know this race is gonna be lit. Women's 100 World Final. The Jamaicans get out well. It's Sharika Jackson, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Talu. Here comes Shakari Richardson. Shakari's done it. Shakari Richardson has won the world title. And then we have uh, Shelly Ann and Prize. Oh, yeah. This guy is very posh. Why are we forgetting Elaine Thompson and uh, Gabby Thomas? Some of my favorite athletes, the female side. But Shakari is my best. There's this uh, athlete used to be called, oh, or it's called down. Uh, Alison Felix and then there was a uh, Tori Bowie unfortunately she passed away very young age 32 years it's drizzling man I wish the bus can be here on time so that I don't get wet so there's this time when uh, Alison Felix and Tori Bowie were running a relay so during the handing of the baton, it dropped. They did not hand the baton well, it dropped. They were disqualified. Then when they went and checked, they found that uh, the mistake was not from the American side. Someone tripped, uh, was it? Alison Felix, yeah. I think she was tripped by someone. You know what happened? What happened will surprise you. They found that uh, the mistake was not from the American side. One of the athletes who, uh, who they were competing against uh, tripped Alison Felix. So that's why she could not handle, hand well the baton. My bus is coming. So I'm now at the hospital, changed into my attire. I was telling you the story of Alison Felix before the bus came. So she was stripped on the field while she was uh, running by a Brazilian athlete. And uh, they were disqualified. And Alison Felix stepping off her marks and putting her tape down as they're set on their way. And Bartoletta running the first leg for the US. She'll hand off to Alison Felix. She's already making up the stagger to her outside. The pass successful to Allison Felix, and down the back stretch they go. So Felix now to English Gardner. And they dropped the stick. They dropped it. The United States is out. So when they went and checked, they found that the mistake was not from the US side. Yeah, she was stripped. <laughs> again and the Brazilian runner does come into the US lane and does impede Allison Felix. So for the second time, Tom, in three Olympic Games, the United States does not get out of the opening round. So they were to repeat the race. They were to run by themselves and finish on time. So they did so and finished on time. So 
here we go. Protest upheld. All lanes empty except lane two. I remember. So Gianna Bartoletta running the leadoff leg for the U.S. This looks a lot like this morning. No holding back from the U.S. first leg. Here's the pass. It was the most bizarre thing to run alone. somehow weird because there was no one else on the track it was only the u.s yeah and the energy will be down of course so they just had to do it but the good thing they finished on time 32.69 or better and they're in so look at the relief on a kinison's <laughs> face can you imagine all of them the relief they're feeling this saw them qualify for the finals and this team did an amazing job. What they did, they did wonders. And they qualified for the final. It took an extra round to get here, but the United States is here, back with a chance to defend their title. And there's the start. Bartoletta running the first leg for the United States. Williams for Jamaica. And here's the first baton pass. I think I've, in the four by one, I've typically been on the second leg. It's the longest, and I think we try to use my strength to have me run that, that really long leg. And here is the U.S. with the lead. We were able to go out there and have clean exchanges and get it done. Tori Bowie has a big lead. Here they come for the finish. It's going to be the U.S. Jamaica second. Yeah. And with the second fastest time ever run, the United States from lane one get the job done and retain their Olympic crown. Shakari Richardson, my favorite, brought back the championship in hundreds last month in Budapest she clocked 10.65 set women's 100 world final the Jamaicans get out well it's Sharika Jackson Shelly Ann Fraser Price Talu here comes Shakari Richardson Shakari's done it Shakari Richardson has won the world title the last American woman to hold this title was uh, Tori Bowie I think uh, it was in 2009 or was it 2015? I've forgotten. She died at a very young age, 32. Very young. A death was ruled natural. Yeah, the, the autopsy reported that she might have passed away while in labor. They cited the possible complications of uh, respiratory distress and the eclampsia condition that causes a high blood pressure and seizures during a pregnancy or shortly after birth. I was impressed by Shakari. Yeah, she clocked 10.65, seeing America win gold in hundreds. And uh, she also saw America win gold in relay. That race was impressive. I'll get some footages here in the touch so that you guys can see. It's so sad to have lost uh, Tori Bowie at such a young age. That is true. We call this premature death.